Good evening, one and all. I am Padma from second semester microbiology. Today, my topic is association of fungi and algae. The contents I would be discussing here is introduction about the topic, the anatomy, morphology, the types of lichens, and the reproduction and their application. Let's move to the introduction part. Fungi and algae are associated through symbiotic relationship. So as we know, symbiotic relationship is benefiting the, both the organisms without causing any harm to one another. So here the fungus with its roots gets the water and minerals, whereas algae uses the photosynthetic ability and produces food. So algae is known as photobiont and fungi is known as mycobiont. So they are also known as composite organisms as they do not lose their original identity uh, identity both morphologically and physiologically habitat so lichens are found everywhere on Padma. grounds rocks sorry, trees your slide is not moving this, sorry this is I mean, not moving. the presentation is it's not moving yeah i don't think you have started the presentation i have uh, just a minute sir i'll try again Is it now? So you have not shared your screen now. Please share your screen and start moving the slides. Can you see the habitat uh, slides? Yes, sir? yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. So lichens are commonly found everywhere on trees, rocks, soil, houses, and they are all fine in uh, they are found in all the seasons. They cover up six to eight percent of the earth's surface. They can tolerate extreme conditions. So some of the few species that is Xanthoria species grows on rock, whereas Verrucaria mucosa grows under the seawater. This is the anatomy, the structure we will be discussing. Lichen's body is differentiated as upper cortex, algal layer, medulla, and lower cortex. The upper cortex is dense and it is protective skin of fungal tissue. Below the cortex is algal layer, which is green in color and plays major role in the process of photosynthesis. The majority of the lichen is thallus, which is comprised of fungal filament, which is called as medulla. It is made up of fungal cells that are loosely packed in the middle of the lichen thallus which has thin cell walls and thread-like structure. The results of uh, this results in the cotton-like structure underneath the outer cortex. So lichens is made up of main body of the lichens is called as thallus which resembles like a moss or a small plant. You have different types of lichens based on their thallus we have three types crystals lichens, polyase lichens and fruticose lichens. Based on their habitat, lignicolis, corticolis, saxicolis, marine, freshwater, terricolis. Based on their internal structure, heteromerous lichens, homo iso, io, merous lichens. Based on their fungal partners, they are ascolichens, basidio lichens and hymeno lichens. This is the classification of lichens. First, we will learn about crustose lichens. These are the these forms are also called, these are found attached, and they are called as crust. They are attached to the substrate, so it is very impossible or it's highly impossible to remove them without damaging the substrate. There are different types of crustose lichens, powdery lichens, which are like uh, they lack organized thallus, which is powdery like structure. Uh, example is genus Lepare Lepraria. Endolithic lichens, they grow inside the rocks between the mineral grain spaces. Genus Lecidae. Epilithic lichens, they grow on the top surface of the rocks. Foliase lichens, these are the complex lichens which arise due to the symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae. They are, they are characterized by leafy thalli, upper and lower cortex. These are very loosely attached to the substrate. So they also have a root-like structure called as rhizines. They are useful in indicating the pollution level in the atmosphere. Fruticose lichens, these appear like trees or shrubs. They have uh, branches resembling trees. They have a complex vegetative vegetation structure and an ascending bushy appearance. They are composed of a shrubby or bushy thallus 
they can endure high degree of desiccation dry region based on their habitat we have lignicolis these are the lichens which lives on the wood corticolis which lives on the barks of the trees saxicolis these lichens live on the stones or rocks marine lichens these are the lichens which are found growing on the siliceous rock near the shores of the sea fresh water is found in the growing on the hard siliceous rocks especially around the fresh water terricolis these are the lichens found growing on the soil also called as terrestrial lichens based on their internal structure we have heteromerous lichens these have four distinct layers three of which are mainly fungus and one layer is algae the fungal layer uh, are called as upper cortex medulla and lower cortex then homo iomerus lichens these are the these thalli these are the these have thalli of these lichens are not differentiated as heteromerous lichens based on the fungal partner we have three types ascolichens basidio lichens and hymeno lichens ascolichens the fungal partner here is ascomycetes which belongs to the class ascomycetes basidio lichens the fungal partner belongs to basidio mycetes and hymeno lichens belongs to the fungal partner hymeno mycetes the reproduction of lichens they reproduce three ways both vegetatively sexually and asexually asexual mode of reproduction is by sporulation so they do not have any kind of genetic recombination so it is like clones sexual mode of reproduction uh, uh, involves only fungus here not algal uh, portion is not involved the vegetative mode of reproduction is uh, involves a structure called as soridia which are bunch of algae which are held by fungal hyphae let's know let's know little uses or few uses about lichens they are uh, used as food by humans due to their nutritional value they are also used in a uh, medicinal field for curing lung diseases in the treatment of kidney diseases arthritis and leprosy they are also used as dyes and coloring agents they are used in the cosmetic industry for their perfume uh, for their uh, in the perfume industry they are also uh, used as a bio indicators where they uh, measure the level of toxicity uh, toxicity in the air thank you all Thank you for the presentation. I request to share with them to present. Thank you, sir.